Hey guys, I wanted to do a comparison video for you today of the Jujube Be Right Back versus the Jujube Super Bee. The Be Right Back is a structured backpack style diaper bag offered by Jujube. Uh, it is in the pink pinwheels print and the Super Bee is a large uh, unstructured tote uh, offered by Jujube. It is in the uh, cobalt blossoms. Uh, the Be Right Back, like I said, is a backpack. That's how it's primarily meant to be carried. Um, but you can also add a messenger strap to it um, and carry it crossbody with the D-rings at the top. It also has a grab handle. The Super Bee is a tote style bag, but you can purchase um, a messenger strap separately um, and add it to the little tabs that are on the side. Um, either just buy the tabs or you can put D-rings on it. Um, so I wanted to do a comparison of the features of the bags and kind of show the carrying capacity um, of the two. I have the Be Right Back packed up for my three-year-old and um, ten-month-old for uh, all day, most of the day out. Um, and I'm just going to transfer this stuff uh, from the Be Right Back to the Super Bee. And I'll go ahead uh, and get started with the features of the bag. The Be Right Back has a bottle pocket on either side. There is a um, zip pocket on the top here. Um, there is a snap pocket in the front, a zippered mommy pocket, zippered felt line pocket, and then a zippered main pocket. And then on the side there also is um, the zippered um, change pad pocket. I don't really ever do anything with that. I just leave really the change pad back there for extra cushioning. You know, this is um, memory foam lined without it as are the straps. And then the Super B. Um, has three pockets. Okay, we'll just let that go. <laughs> three pockets in the front. The two on either side go um, the full um, depth of the bag. The one uh, in the middle here goes um, about halfway down and it does have a zipper. The other two are just open. There is a snap pocket on the back. Um, this does not come with a change pad. You could put one in here if you wanted to. Um, and this goes pretty much the whole um, size of the back of the bag. It's a zip closure, um, and then on the inside there's um, a zipper pocket in the back, and then two mesh pockets in the front, and then these are the little tabs I was talking about you could uh, attach a messenger strap to. It also does uh, normally come with a key leash that attaches right here, uh, but I purchased this off another mom, um, and she had cut that off, I guess because she didn't like it. Not a deal breaker for me, so I still got it. <laughs> Alright, so be right back, um, bottle pocket here have a little bo water bottle for my daughter. It's probably like a 10, 12 ounce size. Just put that in one of the long pockets. Those are great for water bottles. They can obviously hold one that's much taller. Um, on the other side here, I have my keys on uh, my custom key fob uh, and the sea glass. I like to keep those in the middle of the zipper pocket for easy access in the Super B. Um, in the felt line pocket, I have my iPhone 6 which fits in there fine. I like to also keep that um, in the zippered pocket. Um, in the back, my favorite pocket, if you've seen my videos. Um, this little pocket, I like to keep wipes. Um, fit they're great. It's great for easy access, especially if you have this hanging off a stroller. I have boogie wipes, hand and face wipes, and then these are like flushable um, toilet wipes. My daughter's potty training. Um, those fit nicely um, in this side pocket here in there so I can grab them easily. Um, and the little um, magnetic pocket here in the front, I just keep my mini med kit for easy access. So it has antiseptic spray, a bunch of different band-aids, alcohol swabs, neosporin, anything I need for like, a little minor scrape. I like to keep that with the wipes. And then um, in the mommy pocket here, um, has a lot of organization. Now the Super B does not have a mommy pocket, which is good and bad. Um, it's nice because it kind of makes it more versatile, but it's bad because the mommy pockets are nice for organization. Um, I don't really put anything else in this zipper pocket here because it's so small, so pretty much any mommy, other mommy needs, I either, if I have a bunch, I could put them in a set piece, or I just use this pocket here. It's pretty big. Um, it will fit it all. It's just kind of a jumbled mess. Um, and normally, um, if there's a key leash, I like to keep my wallet on that since it is small and thin. Um, and the little uh, elastic compartment here, I just have gum, Tylenol, and Advil. And I usually have a lip balm. I don't know where that ended up. Maybe it's in here. Okay. 
apparently I put it in there. Uh, lip balm and um, this lotion were in the sunglass pocket. I never put my sunglasses in there because I'm too afraid they'll get crushed. At the bottom I have a tie to go pen and a regular pen. And there's this little mesh pouch down here. I just have a um, coin purse and the pixie dust print. It has um, just the cards that don't fit in my wallet. And then the other side of the mesh pouch, I just have my little mommy pouch with um, hair ties, sample sunscreen, um, pad, tampon, just any mom needs. And all this does fit in this pocket, I'll show you, in the Super B, but it's kind of sort of a jumbled mess. Um, so normally I either wouldn't carry that much or I'd separate it out with like a medium set piece or something, but it does all fit. So we'll zip this up. And that brings us uh, now to the main compartment. With the Be Right Back, it does zip all the way down and open, woohoo, um, in a suitcase style. Um, I have this pretty well um, jam packed. I could actually probably, just for a comparison size, put like another um, large set piece in here. Um, it would zip up. The only thing you have to keep in mind is when you use this back pocket here um, where I had the wipes, it takes away from space on the inside. So if you had wipes and a lot of stuff in there, this probably wouldn't fit, um, but just to show you that could fit in there. Um, and I do have um, snacks and two things here, it was just to kind of fill the space um, to show you what would fit. So I'm actually going to start with this um, zipper mesh pocket. So in here I have, uh, I use it as my activity pocket kind of for my kids. So I have a little small travel on packing cube, uh, just has toys for my son, and then this custom piece in the sea ammo that has activities for my daughter, coloring books, crayons, and stickers. That fits really nice in there are these mesh pockets here. Along with the packing cube. Woo! Then um, this little uh, packing cube is the medium sized travel on packing cube. Um, has a bunch of snacks in it. They're great because they have this pocket in the back where you can put a bib. I have a couple fruit strips in there as well. Um, they hold a lot. Um, this is what I use as my main snack bag for all my bags. It fits in everything from like my Hobo B and a light all the way up to you know, like a B prepared or a Super B. Pull this down so you can see inside. Um, I have a Quicklet here. Um, I just have hats and sunglasses in here for my kids. A hat for my son hat for my daughter and then her sunglasses are wrapped up um, in that. That can also fit in this um, mesh pocket here that sort of fills those up. Then I have a uh, Be Quick, it's my diapering kit. I have a light change pad for my Hobo Bee, three size three diapers, two 4T, uh, 5T pull-ups, pack of travel wipes, hand sanitizer, and the trash bags. And I'm going to pick this up just sort of pile these things into the middle. Um, then I have a fuel cell, and that just has snacks for me and my kids. Um, plus I have three uh, five ounce Medela bottles in there, just to kind of show you um, what can fit in there. I could easily fit another bottle, or um, more snacks, or whatever. There's a lot of uh, flexibility with fuel cells. They're huge. And they don't have to just be for food, which is even more awesome. They're so, so versatile. Um, I have a large set piece here and it just has a change of clothes for each of my kids. So a um, 5T outfit for my daughter, shorts and a shirt, um, panties, socks, socks for my son, and then a 12 month romper for my son. It all fits nicely, kind of rolled up in there. Um, show you now that this has a little more structure to it. Show you how this is packing up. Everything in the middle, and then I just have sunscreen um, and a small set piece. So, small set piece is just my um, teething kit for my son. So, topical teeth relief, his favorite teething toy, and some uh, ibuprofen and a syringe. Um, this can fit in the, in the mesh pockets, my kids' activity stuff. And then the sunscreen I like to put um, on the outside of the bag just for easy access. Um, that with the water bottle. So that is it. The Super B is all packed up. Um, it fits everything that was um, in the B-Ray back just fine. Um, there's still some room 
at the top. Um, I personally wouldn't put anything uh, else in it. You could maybe throw like I showed, that large set piece that would have also fit and be right back on top. Um, a blanket, sweaters, um, anything else you'd want, a couple towels. Uh, I didn't put anything in this back pocket. Um, I usually don't want any of my bags used as a catch-all pocket, but this does zip up easily even with the, that large set piece in it. The nice thing about this is it's super light um, and it is able to be carried messenger style also which is nice if it's super heavy. Um, I like the Super Bs because they're cheap, usually around about $50 depending on print, um, and they're super versatile. It's not just a diaper bag, it doesn't look like a diaper bag. You can use a tote bag, an overnight bag, um, what have you. Kind of the same as a Be Right Back. Um, it is a diapering backpack, but you can use it just as a regular backpack or overnight or whatever. Um, so they're both really good bags. Um, I hope that was helpful for you because, I mean, as small as this Be Right Back is, um, it's kind of deceiving um, how narrow it is, um, how much it could hold because they are holding the exact same amount, which is pretty cool. Um, so again, hope it was helpful and thanks for watching.